Well, where is baby Lisa? That question has sparked an agonizing drama, a national search for a missing Missouri baby that intensified today as a lawyer for the infant's parents came down hard on police, not for their failure so far to crack the case, but for their conduct toward his clients, which he calls unimaginable. Police reply that these parents are not doing all they can to assist in the search. Meanwhile, baby Lisa has been missing three weeks as of today. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Over the past three weeks, the Kansas City Police and FBI have been chasing literally a thousand leads across the country to try to find baby Lisa, the missing 11-month-old girl. But they keep coming right back here to the house on North Lister Avenue. Focusing their attention on baby Lisa's parents, Deborah Bradley and Jeremy Irwin, seen here trembling with grief at a recent vigil for baby Lisa. Earlier today on Good Morning America, a family attorney skewered Kansas City police for their treatment of his clients. The mother who's missing her 10 year old baby within an hour, sitting on the floor trembling as the father calls 911. Within an hour of that, the police is at the, are interviewing her, interrogating her, and accuse her of murder. Um, I mean, just can you imagine? They've done everything they've been asked to do. They've consented to every search they've been asked to consent to. But running short on viable leads and patience, the police counter that Deborah Bradley and Jeremy Irwin are not cooperating. Specifically, the couple has refused to be interviewed separately by police since October 8th, nearly three weeks ago. Authorities take it a step farther, saying Bradley and Irwin likely have the answers that could lead police to baby Lisa. Answers that they say any parent should know about their child, about their whereabouts, bedtime, schedule. But family attorneys have told ABC News exclusively that they will allow police to re-interview Bradley and Irwin's sons and to take DNA swabs. Both were home the night baby Lisa vanished and both were interviewed by a child specialist that day. Police have searched the house five times, and last week police say a cadaver dog smelled human decomposition on the carpet in the parents' bedroom. I'm giving you permission to walk through the house. The family's attorney, Cindy Short, downplayed its importance in an exclusive tour of the house over the weekend. It was a visit to a house that seemed almost haunted. Little Lisa's diapers still strewn on the floor. Walls gouged for evidence. Window sills freshly fingerprinted. Yeah, I think that's graphite powder. Much had already been taken from Lisa's room. They took the crib sheets the very first uh, time they came in with the consent of the parents. But in that critical room, the master bedroom, where dogs allegedly smelled death, the carpet remained. I thought um, the dog alerted on one side or the other of the bed, but as you notice, as you walk around, all the carpeting is intact. That is, it was not cut out, and I personally find that surprising. But so far, no arrests have been made, no suspects named. There's no question that the authorities are looking at the parents as possible suspects. I think they're also looking elsewhere. They're looking at the possibility of an intruder. I think that's what's making this investigation so frustrating, is that people really just don't know what to make of it. And in the din of tips and sightings, 800 already fully cleared by police and the FBI, investigators are retracing their steps. He looked at me, and I looked at him. How big a baby? Much, How old did well, the baby was? Baby, about the size of the one that's missing. Going back to Mike Thompson, the motorcyclist who claims to have spotted baby Lisa carried by a man down this street just a few miles from the family's home. They showed me a paper with uh, six pictures on it. And did you pick one out? Yeah, I picked, uh, I picked uh, the man that they've been showing me pictures of. ABC News obtained the picture of that man and learned you know, he has been questioned by police multiple times. We showed it to another eyewitness who lives just three houses away from baby Lisa's parents and who claims to have seen the same thing several hours earlier. A lone man walking with a nearly naked baby in the middle of the night. Mm. Do you recognize that man? No, I don't recognize him. Similar sighting, very different ID. I know that he was tall and slender. Um, as far as his head, we thought he was bald, like we seen a shiny head. You just have to remember that Eyewitness testimony is never as certain as it seems, and it can sometimes be just flat out unreliable. 
Still, no suspects and no hard evidence as the parents continue to shy away from the cameras. All that remains is the fog of mystery, seemingly as impenetrable as it was the night baby Lisa disappeared. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in Kansas City.